My name is Russell Schumacher. I sold technology to the world back when there was technology. And people to sell it. The people most prepared for the fall would have been the Amish, with their avoidance of electricity and all the temptations of a modern world. The New Eden community wasn't Amish, but they adopted the simple way of life, the isolation and self-sufficiency. And like the Amish, New Eden was built around a strong religious faith, part Old Testament, part New Testament, and part Luddite. God looked down on mankind, and he was angry. We took our faith from him and put it in technology, a false idol. So he raised up his mighty hand, and he smote it all. Amen. JD believed the fall was judgment day, end times. He said God took the good and the bad souls, but left the rest of us behind for a second chance. Here in New Eden, God's given us all we need to start over again, the right way. He provides us with a bounty from his soil. His horsemen protect us from the, the savages who cling to the old ways. And all he asks for in return is our faith in his plan. Yet that price is too steep for some. JD took pity on Edward Hanley, predicting he wouldn't last a day on the outside. But don't take my word for it. Let our new friend here tell us what lies beyond. Many in New Eden had been there since the place was formed. Some were growing restless and curious about what JD called the wasteland. JD told me not to pull punches, said his flock deserved the truth, so I gave it to them, gory details and all. That's where he cut me off. You heard the man. Stealing and murder are a way of life out there. I tried to explain that there were still good people out there, people trying to restore order, learn from our mistakes, but hearing my own words that night, I realized JD was right. The world outside was a dangerous place. It made me wonder what the hell I was doing trying to cross the country alone. Still, when the service ended, I told JD I had to pass on the feast. I just wanted to get home to my family. Wow, I always wanted to see the West Coast. JD said he understood my wanting to leave, that New Eden would pray for me. But he had a question for me about the fall. What do you believe, Russ? I told him what I knew about the EMP and the Speaker of the House, but without my backpack, I had no proof. JD didn't mince words. He said I was wrong. What happened was not the man-made disaster I'd come to believe. It was divine intervention. And I have proof. Should have left, like I said. But I wasn't so different from those in New Eden. Part of me wanted to believe a simpler truth like they did. Believe I had been saved by God himself.